Well, good evening, everybody. Bearded Plainsman. I thought I would give you a quick video on um, my okra. <clears throat> you can see there's lots of them. We've been getting 30, 50, 60 a day off them. Um, you can't pull them, you have to cut them. Let me get some clippers real quick here, see if I can do this one handed. Let's see. There's a couple of them that are pretty big that they weren't big yesterday. Okras grow super fast. And what you think um, is, isn't quite big enough today, it'll be almost too big tomorrow. So I just get some clippers and I cut them off right here. I'm going to grab it real quick. Just like that. Anyway, I have to pick them every day. Because um, there's so many of them. There's some that... I can't believe how, how fast they grow. But... I'm going to do a couple of videos on cooking them. Some guys are asking how I plant them. So what I do is I do I do weed barrier, right? And then because I hate weeding, I think everybody does. But weed barrier, and you take a little torch and cut a hole, or you burn a little hole like that, and then you just plant your seed in there. And I have drippers. Uh, th th these are soaker hoses. These are an actual dripper. They have a little emitter um, every 18 inches. And um, you can shut them all off individually or whatever. But then I have them all on a timer. See, my, my beans are on a uh, soaker hose also. But I have them all on a timer. So it's all set. I have four different zones and they go off um, in the morning and in the evening. The cucumbers are on the same kind of a deal. <clears throat> so. Uh, it's kind of maintenance free. I haven't went after you plant them You have to kind of pick the grass and stuff out uh, Until the plants start coming up and then you usually don't have to do any more. There's a little one right here kind of poking through But there's not much Not much uh, weeding or anything um, Pretty good deal So what you do then <clears throat> at the end of the season you cut everything off at the ground and roll up Roll this up, and then uh, till it, and do all do all your ground prep stuff. And then next year, you just roll it back out again, and um, just roll it back out and reuse it. Depending on the quality, you can use it for several years. So my corn's almost done, sweet corn. Um, I've gotten probably 200 off here already. What's in here? Man, worms in there and getting it. Look at that, nasty worms. But I can cut him off right there and he's still good. But the corn's almost done. We've got a lot of corn off of them. There's a bunch of ears, but they're just not maturing. They're staying kind of small, not getting big anymore. So I don't know, I may get one or two more ears out of here, but that's gonna be about it. All right then, 